Hello, folks. Uh, yeah, um, this is a video that I was requested by my friend Lex, little sis girl, to make to talk to people because of a discussion I have with her. Um, I've noticed a lot of my friends who are under 18 on my MySpace and other things will make comments for people, you know, comment on my pics, comment on my pictures, comment on my pictures. And if you look at the pictures, especially if those are, are female, you'll see these guys with these really, really messed up comments. And it'll be like, you know, oh, I want to do you, oh, I want to F you, oh, ugh. And then you go to their pages, and guess what? They're like 25 years old and up. One guy I even saw was 40. Um, this is what I need to tell you, you know, I know one thing. You know, if you are under 18 and you don't, you know, and you go on there and stuff, you've got to be careful, man. Because there's these people in there who get caught and they're looking for young children, they're looking for young kids, and they'll go in there and they can find you, they can find your address, they can find who you are, where you're at. And if you lead them on with these, like, give me comments and, you know, I'm sexy, give me comments, or I'll be your girlfriend, give me comments, stuff like that, they're going to come after your ass. They're going to come after you straight and raw, and they're going to, you know. They'll, they'll hire people to find you if they have to. Or the old long lost cousin or something. There's been a lot of instances online. Look up MySpace Predators. Look up to catch a predator. You know, chat rooms and MySpace accounts and people on there. And, and it happens all the time. And, you know, like my friend uh, Selena Forever 04 on here, she's always monitoring her children's MySpace. Now, I've had a discussion with her. You know, there's... This is one thing, when they're talking to their friends and she knows it's them, you know, don't look over shoulders or anything, because it's just friends and stuff, and this, you know, you got to trust your kids. But when they sign on new people, and new people they don't know, and they talk to other people they don't know and stuff, you know, especially if they're underage, you know, you've got to watch out, because there's people on there, you know, like a guy will be on there and like, hi, my name is Billy, and can we meet the pizza shop downtown? And then you go there and like, let's meet alone so our parents don't get us in trouble. And then guess what? Guy's like 35, 40 years old. He knows by seeing your picture. And he used the picture of a kid. He comes in there, he grabs you, and you're gone forever. And if you're not gone forever, you're come back damaged. And that's messed up. Or they'll go in there and say, you know, I'm an older gentleman. I hope you don't mind. Let's not tell your folks about it. Let's meet up. Ha <laughs> ha. There's pedophiles. There's crazy people. There's sick people. There's sick people on YouTube for crime any sakes. What do you want? I'm just telling you, you know, you guys out there and stuff, I am not trying to sound like a dad or a brother or whatever, but, you know, I love you all. You're all my friends and everything. But if you're young and stuff, you know, the one thing is, is having picture comments is not important. And it's more important than, you know, your life is more important than having picture comments. And it's okay to go on there and, like, one time say, hey, I got new pictures on. Anybody want to look? But if you lead people on and tell them, that, you know, I'll do you or I'm sexy or you see a naked picture of me and stuff, they're going to get enticed by that. And they're going to get into you and they're going to want to see you and they're going to want you to keep that promise. And they're going to come and they're going to stalk you and they're going to find a way to get you. They'll hire those people that look and track you down. Even if you don't have your email thing on there, they will find you. They can go through the... Uh, you know, they can read the area things on there. They can source codes, anything. There's ways. It's been done. The government can find you. Why can't they? Be careful. Parents, be careful. You know, watch what your kids are doing. Don't be a total, like, over-the-shoulder freak with them. Let them have their privacy, but make sure you know who they're talking to first. That's some kind of a scan because there's, there's too much stuff. I'm not going to list these stories because they're just horrific. But go on Yahoo. Go to Google. Look up MySpace Predators. You know, stuff like that. Go to, uh, you know, look up chat room predators. Look up the Atlanta NBC or ABCs to catch a predator. That's some sick stuff. One guy on there, he's telling this girl in a chat room that he wants to come there and do her while she does stuff to her cat. A cat. And then the guy gets there and he sits down to eat and cook. He's brought a bunch of liquor and acts like he was just there to tell her and have a party with her and tell her not to do stuff like that. Bull. I'm just stressing you guys, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's really sad what happens, and it's really sad that there's people out there who are so addicted to sex, and they have to have it with children, they need help, you know, and 
I'm not going to judge them because they must have had a screwed up past. A lot of them could have been raped when they were a kid or molested or something happened to them and they grew affection to having children or the same way with, you know, with people cheat or, or, you know, anything. It can, it can all come from some kind of a mental problem. But they need to, be, you know, it needs to be stopped to where it can be controlled, where the kids don't get around to where they have to see them. So just be careful. Look at stuff up. Get some information. Protect your kid. Make sure if they're underage, get their private, their space private, you know, so they can only accept friends and stuff. And make sure you're like, you know, maybe if they have to, you accept the friend and know who they are first. As if it's like a 25-year-old guy and he's talking to your kid and she's only like 13. There's something wrong there. Mucho, mucho wrong. Mucho wrong. God bless. Take care. And, uh, you know, keep your kids away from Dirty Harry. Yeah.